How's it going? Uh, my name is Spencer. I've been playing disc golf for a while. Um, I was, I'm 100% Trilogy now. I'm loving it. I've been playing very well. I've been playing a few collegiate tournaments and had some great results. So I thought I wanted to share my bag, um, kind of give you a glimpse into what I'm showing or what I'm throwing. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback, maybe some suggestions. I don't think there are too many holes, maybe one, maybe two. Uh, I'm loving what I'm throwing, getting great results. So let's start. Oh, I throw right hand, backhand, average about 350, 375. Sometimes I can tickle 400, but pretty much everybody says that. So pretty average, 350, 375. Uh, all right, I'll start with some putters. I putt with the warden. In the circle, it's this classic hard plastic. I love it. Comes out of the hand very nicely. No bead. Wonderful disc. I have this soft one for outside the circle. If I need to grab the ground or grab the chains, I go for this one. Utility inside the circle if I need to go around a tree or there's a strong, strong headwind, I throw this BT Soft Harp. Really flexible, low profile, comes out of the hand great. I'm a spin putter, so this one is a staple, staple in my bag. Uh, love the harp. Start with some throwing putters. Overstable spot, I throw the VIP harp. Love this disc, feels great in the hand, comes out clean every time. Very overstable. I've never turned one over. If you need something to go left about 200 feet, maybe even a little bit further, this is a wonderful disc. I love what Westside's doing, and this harp is a home run. I throw two judges. I have this sweet first run fluid that just went in my bag recently when the fluid plastic came out. Loving what I'm seeing with this disc. It's very flexible. It grabs the ground very well. I've been using this for a lot of upshots. Um, very straight. A little bit of fade at the end, but overall, point and shoot. Wonderful disc. For off the tee, very straight drives. I throw the Opto Judge, got this sweet big stamp in the uh, mystery box, wonderful disc. I'm actually finding that this one is a little bit more overstable than that fluid one. We'll see if that changes as this one beats in, but um, wonderful results, almost got an ace, everybody says that, but definitely hit basket with this uh, earlier today. Let's move on to some mids, overstable spot. I throw the Biofusion Suspect. I love this disc. It's actually the same numbers as that harp, I'm pretty sure. But with this one, I can power grip it. It's a little bit lower profile. I love how it fits in the hand, and I can get a lot more distance out of this. So overstable putter, um, great hyzer lines, some uh, spike hyzer lines if you get a lot, get it up there in the air. Wonderful disc, glides a lot, um, always putting it near the basket. For my straight mid shots, go to mid shots, I throw the truth. I got two of them in the bag right now. This fusion one is very, very straight. I love it. Always reliable. Um, great shots with this guy. Also, recently put this fluid truth in. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of this disc. It's a little bit more overstable than that one. Very reliable. Super grippy in the rain. I live in Oregon, we are getting a lot of rain right now. This is a wonderful disc to have in the bag, and I think it's going to stay there for quite some time. Also, this is kind of a weird spot for me. I really like this disc, it's the Frost Claymore. And it's a very light one, it's actually 170, which is not too common to have a 170 mid, but I find to hit those tunnel shots and hyzer flip, this guy is awesome. Release it on a hyzer, flips flat, and just goes. I can get this guy out to 300 feet regularly. Um, wonderful disc. Anytime I have a tight window, trees, or a tunnel shot, I'm reaching for this guy. 
kind of a utility mid, really understable is the Tursus and this sweet pearly plastic. I'm loving the Trilogy plastics and one of the one of my favorite things are this pearl detail to the plastic. It's awesome. This disc will never go left, to put it simply. If you need to go right and you need to go right, maybe there's OB on the left. I, I reach for this disc. I don't hazard flip it too much um, just because it's a little unpredictable. I usually hazard flip the Claymore. If I need to go right in a mid-range, I reach for the Tursus. Let's move on to some control drivers, fairway drivers. The understable spot is the Underworld. This was actually my first Trilogy Plastic. I love this disc. It's very understable. Um, it's a speed 7, so it doesn't get out too far. Uh, but I find that a lot of un a lot of right hooking holes are in that kind of 300 325 ish range. I throw this a lot. Uh, it will always be in my bag. I think uh, great shots with this guy. For my straight go to control driver, it's the Saint. I love this disc. This gold line one is pretty beat up. It tracks right. Very little fade. Wonderful stuff. This Opto Bubblegum Plastic Saint is wonderful. Dead straight, a little bit of fade, a little bit more than that gold line. They complement each other great. I uh, love the Saint. I probably throw that more than any other disc in my bag off the tee. Complementing those, I have a tournament, or, sorry, Gold Line Plastic Saint Pro. More overstable than that, but very straight for a good while. I can get this disc out pretty far. Um, very reliable in wind. If you know, I'm basically throwing this for those Saint shots. If there's a lot of wind, basically behaves the same. Um, headwinds, it's great. Always fades consistently to the left. This is, I think, one of Latitude's very best discs. Utility spot, super overstable absolute meat hook is the triple X. I love it. This white opto plastic is so grippy. This just does what I want it to every time. It will never go right. If you can turn this triple X over, I just don't think that you can. This one will always fade hard. It is the most overstable disc I've ever thrown. Wonderful. Almost no glide. So it's very very reliable, um, big spike hyzers, sky hyzers, wonderful disc. Move on to uh, distance drivers. My go-to driver I think right now is the Giant. I love this disc. I personally don't feel like it's as overstable as the numbers might suggest with that positive one turn and four fade. I just don't see that in the flight. This tournament one is pretty straight. It tracks a little left and then once that fade hicks, um, fade kicks in, fades hard consistently. This is one of the most consistent discs I've ever thrown. I love it. This Opto one is actually really old, very beat in, and actually more stable or understable than this tournament one. That's usually not the case. I think I'm going to pick up a new one here pretty soon. Um, just to get that harder hook, maybe even a Lasto one. Pretty interested in those. So Giant is a great disc. Recently put this in the bag, but I've had some great results with it. It's replaced a few discs in my bag, like the Havoc, um, and that's the King. I have two right now. This one's a little domier, a little heavier. This one's flatter and a little lighter. And the reason is, this one is pretty understable, especially considering um, for that four fade. This disc, if you throw it flat, it's going to go right and stay right. This one, if you throw it flat, it will flex a little to the right and then come back to the left. These are my max distance drivers. If I don't have a lot of room, or sorry, if I have a lot of room and I just can get these big S-curves, Wonderful disc. Heiser flipping this guy. This is the understable one. Heiser flipping this thing. Flips flat and just rides so straight all the way to the ground. 
wonderful disc. Really liking it in my bag, and I think it's going to stay there for a while. I have this bolt. This is a recycled line bolt. This is a great disc. Really, really, really understable. Like, actually becoming almost too understable. So I might have to replace it soon, but it's been with me for a long time. I know it very well. Big, big annies. Very long annies. Um, also, Heiser flipping this guy, it goes very far, just as far as those kings. I find that this one will just never go left. It will always go right. I love it. This is also really good for a really long roller. So, loving the bolt. I think I'm going to have to pick up a new one pretty soon. This recycle line plastic breaks in a little quicker than the um, opto or the tournament plastic, gold line plastic equivalent. So, really great disc. I love it. And that's my bag. Thanks for watching. Um, I'd love to hear some suggestions or maybe even some questions I, I can maybe answer on some discs. Again, I'm loving Trilogy. And if you're not throwing it, you should be. Thanks, guys.